Okay, well, hey everybody, how you doing? I wanted to um, do a quick video showing you something that I discovered for the Freerite Traveler, which is a pretty nice Logitech keyboard case that you can pick up on Amazon, and it works really well. And in fact, I think it's very similar to the one that actually comes with, that you could have bought with the Traveler. So <laughs> I wanted to give you a look at that and then share the link so you could um, pick it up for yourself before they maybe disappear. Um, Okay, so it's a pretty standard, like, thick felt material, and you can see that the Traveler fits pretty nicely inside. Um, it's a snug fit there, and you just slide that out and then, um, you know, use it like that. I think it's pretty nice quality. When I picked it up, this was $13.99 on Amazon, and so far, uh, it feels like it could probably, you know, withstand maybe a two-foot drop pretty well. I wouldn't, you know, I'd be careful with it if it was going to fall off a table or something, but for in the house, this uh, is a pretty nice way to to keep the traveler safe from the inquisitive hands of toddlers, which is the biggest threat in my house. Okay, and then the other thing I picked up, and this came from a Redditor, was talking about, you know, people on the Astro House subreddit were talking about the fact that there was no front light on the Traveler, which, yeah, I would like to have a front light as well or some kind of lighting system for the e-ink. So this was suggested. It's basically a book light that you can pick up on Amazon. And um, the when I picked it up, there was actually a coupon for like 25% off. So the regular price was $9.99, and I picked it up for like 6 some something, which, whoops, um, is great. I didn't notice that something's shaking around in there, so that might be the battery. <laughs> um, it's just screwed in. I might take a look at, uh, like, putting a spacer or something in there, because otherwise it's been, it's been great. So, basically, it just clips on to the, um, the front. You can see that there. It doesn't, like, there's a nice rubber foot, um, on the, on the light try and get it in focus there and that just clips on the front and it's adjustable so it doesn't it's not going to mark the plastic or anything and then this is fully adjustable and the switches are on the back here so you can um, turn that on and it gives you a, a front light for using in the dark and I'm not gonna be able to get this very well in the video but it's got a lot of different settings for the color and brightness of the light so you can you can adjust that and I found that actually having this light on helps me not focus on the screen on the Traveler when I'm drafting, so that's kind of useful. Uh, but it's definitely enough light to see the keyboard if that was a concern, if you wanted a backlit keyboard. Uh, and so something like this one works really well, and it's almost disposable, so if it didn't work, you could pick up another one pretty easily. So if it turns out to be just complete junk, I will report back on that, but so far it's been uh, it's been pretty good. And for me, with the coupon, it was... It was six dollars, which you really can't beat that. <laughs> In fact, I think it wouldn't work as well for a book, but it works really well for for this application. So I'm going to turn that off since it's um, making the traveler look look strange. So I'm still working the traveler into my my workflow. I'll do another video where I talk about that. I'm liking it so far. I'm still, I think, like a lot of folks, you know, not liking the price point. But I think as a specialized tool, that if it works for you, then it's no different than any specialized tool you might buy for, you know, kind of some kind of job that you're doing. And so far, it's been really nice just to open it up. It goes right to like, it's instant on, you don't have to push any buttons. If it was if the clamshell was closed, open it up, you can start typing and, and there you go. So I've been liking that quite a bit. But I want to do a more a more in depth review about how I'm using it in my workflow. But so far, so good. So I'll, I'll keep reporting back. But I'll put links to these two things in the um, in the notes, and uh, so you can check them out if you want to. All right. Hey, thanks very much. And if you got your traveler, I hope you're enjoying it. Let me know what you think in the comments. All right. I'll talk to you later.